weird clip I came across featuring, you know, good old, you know, <laughs> Al Sharpton. But let's, let's just get into it. A report from the New York Times this month finds that law enforcement has long been exploiting a genetic trait common to black Americans to explain deaths in police custody. Wow. <laughs> this should be good. And among those killed by police who later blamed that death on the victim's sickle cell trait during an investigation or trial, George Floyd. No, not George. I want to start our audience off with an explanation of what the sickle cell trait is, which is not sickle cell anemia, which is as much a disease as part of black history. Rather, the trait is essentially a marker for the disease carried by one out of 13 Americans, black Americans, but overwhelmingly benign. It's a trait trait right and they're not talking about the full disease it's a trait but keep going um sickle cell trait like you mentioned is just where you have one gene um for sickle cell and um to actually have the disease you have to have two of these genes right um and so usually this is just a condition that you know you might be concerned about passing um something onto your children something like that but it's overwhelmingly benign um unless you are really over exerting yourself um training doing military training at a high altitude there are rare rare cases in which um having just the single gene can um can create problems but this is again extremely rare um and what is happening in the cases that, that we reviewed is that um when people die in police custody or uh, prison, um, you know, if they have this trait, it can cause the, the cells to sickle after death. What? Wait a minute. And, you know, sometimes um, medical examiners or the defense teams who are police who are accused in these instances will point to this trait and say that, well, these people would not have died were it not for the sickle cell trait. And, and this is what has caused the problem. And to be clear, there's no medical basis for that, saying that just having traits would be the cause of death. It is something that they use to try and avoid what may be other causes of death under police custody or in correctional well, facilities. I think that's the um, concern that we uncovered with our reporting. And a lot of them we found were not. They were being labeled natural death, even though the people were tased multiple times or put in a prone restraint that could hinder their breathing um, or sprayed with pepper spray um, directly in their face. And um, I think that's the, the big question. Now, your reporting found that uh, since 2015, 15 people have died in custody with sickle cell trait cited as the major factor. In about two-thirds of those cases, the uh, person had been restrained or debilitated by authorities, but the genetic trait created enough doubt for officers to avoid prosecution. Do I, do I have that right? Um, in a lot of those cases, yes. And the, the genetic trait um, we found is often uh, used in combination with other health factors or drug use, uh, previous drug use. Um, and what happens is the, uh, the defenders of the police or the police representatives, sometimes the medical examiners themselves, will kind of list all of these factors for the person who has died in police custody. And I think it, um, you know, it could create a sense that these people may have um, been themselves to blame yeah. um, in these incidents. So it's a trait. You're not going to give any receipts. You're not going to show any receipts on, okay, which uh, people that died in police custody that, you know, that had that, that this uh, supposedly happened or the police has supposedly said that, oh, well, this is a reason why they died. And you can just say, well, uh, if you have a pre-existing condition and something happens to you, maybe closely related to that condition, and you just happen to be in police custody, like, eh, well, we can just, just we should just pin that on them too, right? It's like, it sounds like a bunch of uh, unfortunate things happening at the same time, but instead of no, you got to have a blame to be placed somewhere, right? Like, if, if I just decided to try to run up and down the street, just all of a sudden, you know, me being fat, and I just give out, and then, like, well, 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 well what happened? Uh, so somebody made me run up and down the street, or I decided to try to run, and then, well, 
And I ran out of gas. <laughs> I'm fat. I'm that's not gonna that's not gonna happen. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here. That was a car that just drove by. But anyway. Um but yeah, that it like I said, that sounds like a bunch of unfortunate things happening all at once. And we're just gonna like, hey, well, it's the police fault, you know. Never mind. It's another car. Never mind <laughs> all the drugs I just ingested. Never mind me me knowing, not the police, but me knowing that I got heart issues and and X, Y, and Z. But yeah, I'm gonna be put myself in a position to where I'm gonna be extra exerted. That's probably not a word, but I'm saying it anyway. And something happens to me. But if I'm just so happen if I'm in police custody, ah, well, it's their fault. And that was a dog. I don't know. Seems a little flaky. I thought it was just weird. That's my take. And I'm out. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.